Out of all units in the history of StarCraft 2, there is one that still struggles to find its purpose in this game. This is a Cyclone, and today we'll go through its development road, full of hardships and frequent changes. First of all, what was the plan behind this unit's introduction? Blizzard team always tried to make mech more playable, especially on a high level, and this playstyle needed a new unit to make it more aggressive, since previous additions in How to Swarm didn't really help with passiveness of it. Previous attempts to add Warhound failed because it was a too well-rounded and strong unit, so the new idea was proposed. Cyclone was meant to be a fragile glass cannon, somewhat like Hellion, but against most types of units, and it would be a great vehicle for active mech playstyle, which would involve a lot of back-and-forth action, kiting and constant presence on the map. Let's see how the devs envisioned it themselves. Meet the Cyclone. This gal has a one-track mind. Able to focus down units at range by targeting opponents one at a time, locking onto them, and dealing damage on the move. The Cyclone moves at the same speed as Stalkers, making them a solid choice for establishing early map control while picking off priority targets in the process. If you intend to counter the Cyclone, initiating combat swiftly and in force will work to your advantage. Moral of the story, if you're slow and big, you're gonna lose against the Cyclone. However, there are always opportunities to counter the Cyclone's mobility. The problems, though, appeared quickly on the first public test. Cyclones just had too big of a range and just high damage overall. While they could be countered by cheap units like Zerlings, you could just combo Cyclones with Hellions, which would make them invincible. Here are some OP moments from beta test. Get over there. Terran Ember, Stardust doing his Todd impersonation. <laughs> Cyclones can also target onto structures too, um, so they do a lot of damage very, very fast. Oh, okay, he's missed again with those shots. I don't know who's in charge of those, but goodness. Oh, there goes Dattle Queen. I mean, this targeting ability is so insane. I mean, look yeah. at the range on that. They're upgrading to further the range as well. This isn't the full maxed out range yet either. <laughs> Where's, Where's David, David Kim? Kim? Don't worry, he's watching Stardust. He's watching there. <laughs> Uh, fantastic targeting, and uh, a scan looking around. He was obviously looking to teleport there, probably with his battle cruisers, but there's nothing to teleport to. Individual target firing. <laughs> oh my God, these are just decimating. Right, he's going to teleport. Oh my. Team Soup trying to defend, trying to pull. Yeah, look at him run. He knows too. See? Oh, there God. it is. And you see the dotted line. It's, it's actually outside of frame because it's encompassing everything you see. I mean, the ability for that to just <laughs> slaughter everything. Here comes out another stalker. Oh, if See I could, you later, stalker. If I could be a fly on the wall in the Twitch chat right now with this. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> seriously, this thing, as you can see, just absolutely crushing everything. You just... See, this ability doesn't take mana and has, like, a super quick cooldown, so you just... You lock it onto stuff and then run away from it. So they're having a really hard time dealing with it right now. <laughs> There's the second one, Artosis. Oh, God. Oh, my God. These are the Dark Templar that you can see. No. Whoa, that just isn't even right, is it? <laughs> oh, I mean, the ability to kite and to motion. I mean, we see the three gateways out. We see the worker lead going to Pult and Sue. No matter how good a unit is, the game of StarCraft II is always about economy, though. So the fact that this expansion doesn't really pan out for Pult and Sue is just really a, a double death yeah. sentence. By the way, I heard that uh, Warpian units now take 200% damage when being attacked, so... Are you serious? Yeah, that's uh, a little change as well. Oh my god, and he's repairing them. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. You know... When, this when, is what mules are for now. You mine out mineral patches to hook. Mules are just to drop and repair cyclones. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when, when I'm looking at this, yesterday... It was clear from the early days that this unit would be a bit tough to balance. Considering its unique role on the battlefield and also its rather expensive price, it needed to be shaped so delicately that it didn't become OP and then at the same time that it would be used in the majority of games. In the first year, the devs managed to somewhat nerf it while keeping slow attack speed. It was an expensive kiting tool suitable for early and mid-game and for some timing attacks, but nothing really more than that. It couldn't really fit into mid-game or late-game. So the first major rework happened in November 2016. From a high damage dealer, the Cyclone turned into a high DPS unit who could now quickly dispatch all small units and was also still possible to lock on air targets, but not on ground ones. 
The rework was so massive and changed so many things about Cyclone that it pretty much was almost a completely new thing. Due to the new short range, it was also much harder to kite with Cyclones early on, but the sheer DPS power of this unit was so good that you could actually use them in all instant rushes. Here are some examples. Extremely down in army supply. Some battle mech coming up to do some battle against this Zerg player. A good split on the Hellbats. Those Cyclones just nailing everything from behind. The tanking of the Hellbats being so helpful. Gosh, this looks like it's going to be a move to win this game. The Bailings do collide with the Cyclones, but they can take a couple of hits. They're not the ones that get healed by the Medivac, but they can still Ooh. be micro as now special showing off his micro, killing most of the Queens and now the third base. So much damage being dealt in GG. Is called. This version of Cyclone existed for two years and while it had a role in the battlefield, it was a bit like Luster. You could use them in all three matchups, but it still didn't really tackle the mech issue that it was supposed to solve. Instead, Cyclone became a timing attack unit meant to catch your opponent off guard. And in some cases it could be used as the main brute force of your army, but you would rather build tanks that scale up much better in late game. Also, the amount of proxy Cyclones played in TVP was really high, so something needed to be done about it. The next rework was personally my favorite. Cyclone got its high damage back, but it now also required a lab to be built. It lost some of its damage speed and range, but it could now effectively deal with pretty much any unit on the battlefield, but not with light units that could swarm it from all angles. This once again enables the cool combo of Hellions and Cyclones in TVZ, and you could also use Cyclones separately in PvT. And as it was intended in the very first version, it could now successfully kite the majority of units once again. This was the longest living version of Cyclones that appeared in all matchups. The term Battle Mech was also commonly used during those times to describe the combination of Cyclones and other units leading forward a mechanized attack and baiting for tank fire. However, this unit wasn't seen as commonly, though for some other reasons, because just Terran Rays in general had other cool build orders and more useful units at that time. This new version of Cyclone outlived all other versions as it successfully lived 4 years, facing new changes only in 2023. The Balance Council probably felt that it was still underrepresented, and Terran Mech Army historically had issues with many units being too specialized on one task. So basically, Mech Army really lacked all-rounders, but remember that previous attempts to create such units as Warhounds failed and now Cyclone once again was put to fill that spot. The new version got cheaper and slightly less effective, but this version is usually made in large quantities to swarm the battlefield. It also caused a lot of discussion since it felt too strong because it pretty much combined the best qualities of all versions, making this Cyclone probably the best prototype of all of them. After the initial balance patch, it was also somewhat nerfed and is still present in the game. How long will it last though? So right now, not only is the, the Cyclone very powerful because it can just swarm on top of you with large numbers, but even when you get caught out, check this out, Harstam caught Clem Cyclones or the big stasis trap came forward with sentries to force field them. And this is actually just comical. I wanted to include this because this is <laughs> ridiculous. For me, I'm going to be watching closely the next week or two. I'm going to also be seeing will Clem use it at all in the finals tomorrow against uh, Solar in the Balance Cup. Uh, that's when I'm recording this the, the day before that. So I'm really excited to see what happens. Um, it feels like so much is up in the air with this Cyclone and a lot of people are very unsure of how to balance it between Verse Zerg and Verse Protoss power. After almost a decade of patching, Cyclone still feels a bit odd on the battlefield. Is it a well-round mid-shield unit for your tanks? Is it a high DPS glass cannon? Is it a kiting machine? Or is it an anti-cheese based defense unit? Cyclone is just amongst the very few units that's role has been changed so much and so drastically during all this time, and yet there is just no final consensus on how it should look like and what it should do in this game. One thing is certain though, it won't go away since during all the transformations it has always been very useful for the turn race. Cyclone on the right side trying its very best, baiting those stalkers away from the main engagement, Shutting down quite a few of these unit producing structures. Okay, one of the stalkers running dangerously. No, nice pickup right there by Clem. Oh, Clem once again picks up that cyclone right before the stalker shot was about to connect. If you pick it up at the perfect moment, you don't actually take any damage. Once again, does the same thing, does the same thing. Do it again. Do it again, Clem. Oh, he does it again. He gets another stalker. Oh, remember what I was talking about at the very beginning of this video. This is... Oh, this is some of the most ridiculous Medivac Micro in the entire game.
That's the end of our story. What is your opinion about the newest cyclone? Do you like it or not? Share your opinion in the comments and make sure to check our story about the evolution of Mac playstyle in StarCraft 2. Have a nice day and see you next time.